Yo, what's good boys? Welcome to the video. It's Jack. Okay, so in this one, we are going to be making a beat for Drake. Uh, specifically for his Dark Lane demos um, tape. I really enjoyed this this, uh, this project. I didn't really think I was going to, to be honest with you, considering Drake's last project run for me has been a bit, bit eh, you know what I'm saying? Not as good as it used to be. I really enjoyed this more than his last few albums. So yeah, we're going to be making something like you would hear on that tape. It's going to be some sampled, nice little boom bap, maybe R&B-ish kind of vibes. I'm saying depending on where this goes, who knows, but hey, hope you guys enjoy and let's get straight into this. Okay, so we got this sample, it's by Naughty by Nature, it's their song called Hip Hip Hooray. I love the melody in this, it's, uh, and I just like the vibes, I think it's going to be perfect for what we want. We got these two chops here, I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get copyrighted and I will for sure get copyrighted if I played this without flipping it. So let me just flip it first and then I'll play it. If you guys want to know what the sample sounds like before we flip it, go listen to the song elsewhere because we ain't getting no demonetization up in here um so first order of business is to get, add unmixed drums which is a brilliant vst it takes the drums out of samples it's really doing god's work to be honest with you so yeah i'm gonna go and make sure all the drums are filtered out you probably won't hear any of this but yeah smooth okay so drum level all the way down was it threshold like halfway all that and then like that <laughs> Um, so now what we're going to go and do is we're going to go and get the tempo we want, the key we want, and then we're going to flip the sample and make a banger. It's going to be great. Do you know what? This actually kind of reminds me of the first song on the tape called Deep Pockets. It kind of sounds like the sample, you know? Obviously, we haven't flipped it yet, but the actual sound sounds very similar. So it's actually going to be very easy, I think, to flip this because we can just actually pretty much base it off of that song. So let's, let's see, what we can, uh, see what we can do here. Scale this down to 78 BPM. Obviously, we're going to have to stretch it back to where it was. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, Key Finder, which is a, a free little app you can get. Okay, let's put this in. D flat minor, so that is C sharp minor. So we want to make this G minor. So see if we can pitch it out to make it sound cool. D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. Probably won't sound good, but we'll see. That sounds fucked up. Okay, let's do down six rather than up six. That's an octave below. So still G minor, but an octave below what we just listened to. That's not too bad, but I reckon we can make it sound better. Let's add a synth bass. We're gonna use just gonna use a standard growler in atmosphere, growler moog. It's a go-to sound for me, for sure, for sure. We're going to try and work in a, mi in a major scale because I feel like that's what the beat was made in, the original. Like It was made in a major and it's converted to a minor inside key fine. It's just not working. So we're going to look up what is D flat minor in major. And the way you do that is you type in whatever key you want. So this, for in, our, in our case, it's D flat minor relative major. Because every minor key has a relative major and every major has a relative minor. It's relative minor is F flat major, so that makes it E major. E major, right. So let's try and use that key to make this beat. Okay, we haven't even really tried to flip the sample yet. I just remembered, we literally haven't. We've just literally looped it over. So this is obviously going to be our main part of the sample here. Uh, this we can kind of throw in there if we want to, but this is going to be the main part. So what we need to do is we need to actually make this into an actual sample flip. You know what I mean? Like... Let's see how we can flip this, man. I like to usually flip samples inside the playlist. I just feel like you can get more hands on, whereas in Fruity Slice, so it's a bit mad. Maybe we do like a double, you know? Maybe we do like a, a that, maybe. That's the bass done. Oh, we have to put it down though. It's a bit too high up, isn't it? There we go. Yeah. 
That's sick. Okay, cool. I'm really happy with this. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to add our own little flavor to it and we're going to add some arcade. Uh, arcade is great for when you flip samples because it really just opens up the possibilities of what you can add to a sample. That's hard. I like this. Yeah, we'll do a vocal. So back in D major, we're gonna go into hooked because we wanna go for like a more kind of R&B-ish, that's aura. Uh, a kind of R&B, uh, female for sure so we can search that in arcade realistic vocal vibe not something really filtered out like something really powerful this out this vocal okay now I think it's time to do some drums so let's go and gather these sounds and then we can start laying out a pattern which I pitch this down We're going to put a little bit of distortion on this uh, synth face. I've changed my mind. Uh, for that, we're going to be using a little radiator. Make it even more realistic. Here's what you can do: you can add a uh, velocity change. Have it like this, so it goes. T -t 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 -t. So it actually sounds like you know what I'm saying some real, some real, real. Oh fuck, some real shit. You know what I mean? Drum air. There we go. It's perfect. I'm just gonna go put a light on real quick. I still, it's still dark, bro. The lighting in this room sucks off. We're going to split this by channel. So we're going to get everything out into the playlist. Why don't we reverse it? Okay. Ooh, we could use that for a beat switch up, you know. That actually sounds... That we could put some trap drums. Oh, hello. Put a little filter on this. Little love filter. A uh, time shifter list. So it goes something like this which is about three minutes, which is perfect. And then we're gonna add this little switch up right here, which is kind of got me going out my way, just to kind of flex for the video, but I feel like it's gonna be fun, so. Oh, this is gonna be ridiculous. How are we gonna end this?
We'll just do a little. Well, we need to make it a little like that, and we'll just cut it all like that. Why not? Then what we'll do is we'll add a little arcade here. This is getting a bit ridiculous, isn't it? It's going to be mad. This video is going to do bits, fam. I can't wait for you guys to see this shit. I cannot fucking wait. I really like this beat. I'm so happy how this turned out. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you've learned something new. If you're new around here, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. You never miss a video. We're trying to hit 10K subscribers for the third time. So please help me do that. Hit the subscribe. And uh, yeah, follow my social medias at Prod by Jack on Instagram, Real Prod by Jack on Twitter. Check out my sound kits if you want a nice new drum kit. Check out the Psycho Drum Kit. The link will be down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.